This is Twit. And I can't wait to see what amazing things we'll build together next. Thank you. Very cool. That's Google I.O. They said they'd do it in two hours. They did it in one hour, 57 minutes. Uh, I think we saw some very interesting things. Uh, despite the kind of slow start, um, they kind of saved the best for last, which is their uh, quite advanced glasses, much farther along than um, uh, Meta's glasses, and of course, uh, light years ahead of what. Yeah, Apple Zuckerberg is biting his lip right now. Oh yeah, he yeah. wants to be. Well, this is a race. I think you're going to see this as a race. I and, do. Uh, I mean, I think this is the first tech product from this era that I am genuinely very excited for personally. You, like you could see the applications, yeah. I could see the application. That I've always, I've said this before on Intelligent Machines, I've always wanted to be able to read text messages while doing my dishes, and this would allow <laughs> me to do that. There you go. Uh, they did, of course, uh, you know, start with some cheerleading for their uh, Gemini and their Gemini Pro. They showed some new technologies for uh, video vo i guess vo uh three now uh for um images with the, i say imagen because that's what it looks that's like they say imagine four and uh their lyria was music. youtube mentioned once speaking of video youtube was mentioned a number of times uh for instance if you pay the 250 dollars for the gemini ultra membership you get uh youtube premium Oh, well, thrown in for a free. Bargain. <laughs> mm, a bargain. A bar, a true. <laughs> so a now true how deal. much would you pay? Uh, Demis Hasibis came on the stage, uh, their Nobel Prize winning uh, uh, British sir, and uh, showed some uh, new things with 2.5 Pro and Gemini Flash, Gemini Flash, Deep Sync they're talking about, which is very much a Deep Seek uh, clone. It's, you know, obviously reinforcement learning. Um, they they keep coming back to this 3D video calls, the Project Starline. Yeah, They've shown they it every year for that. a decade. I don't know why. A, I don't know who wants it. I'm sure it's going to be expensive. I, I just don't get it. Uh, I mean, I like, what is it. the application for that? I could only imagine it maybe conference rooms. Yeah, but, yeah. really like creepy conference room calls. Yeah. Which they probably have at Google. Yeah. Uh, Project Astra camera and screen sharing interprets what you're seeing. This is another accessibility tool that'd be very cool. Putting basically lens uh, into your and in, into your AI. Um, you used it to find the sweater, Paris, right? Project uh, well, Mariner. I just put I just put a photo used of lens. the sweater in uh, yeah. Chat GPT and asked what color do you think this is? Be oh, very you specific. Had a competitors so, product. I yeah. Mm. Okay. I diversified. I diffused. Well, you might that's say. always been my point is that th these are all interchangeable right now. Google, there really to... is no, I think part of what we saw uh, today is they're looking for ways to lock in consumers yes. and keep them coming back to Google's AI product specifically versus a chat GPT or a perplexity or something right. else. And I, I, still, I think that's you... going to be the thing that all these companies are converging around over the next couple of years is right. how do we differentiate this product? How do we get people to pay for it? Because there's going to come a time where they're going to have to turn off the uh, everything can be free spigot for the average consumer. And how you get someone to pay for it is making that product be meaningful, like uniquely meaningful for yeah. a consumer. Agreed. Absolutely. Well, so, so who's in a better position than Google to uh, be bringing all of this AI to you? Every, that you? Nobody else has, even Apple doesn't have the same number of entry points i don't think no no in fact i mean yeah google definitely has entry points in just the popularity of chrome the popularity of android there's a lot of different well and and, and, and even the various even consumer apps like the search google Docs and translate and mail search, and yeah. maps uh all those are 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 cross-platform Right. And Google, if Google its can't figure out how to make this work, then I don't think anyone can yeah. in terms of product lock. And showed their so, complete willingness to combine signals from all of the things that you're using now, uh, despite how uh, controversial that might be. Yeah. We uh, want to wrap this up because uh, MacBreak Weekly awaits in the wings Max, tomorrow. Max, oh, that's so last year. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, Intelligent Machines, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 2100 we'll see UTC. You again. We will talk all about this. Uh, Kate O'Neill will be our guest. Uh, the happy AI intelligent. I don't know what to this. Well, let me see what perplexity says. <laughs> She will be uh, joining he us. He can't to, even do his own thinking to make up. I don't need to think anymore. And that's the beauty of all of this. I can stop thinking anyway.
No thumb. Tune in leaders, a leader's guide to making human friendly tech decisions the in a world humanist. that's moving too fast. The tech humanist. Tune in that for that phrase. and more on Wednesday, specifically a song from 2004 I found has a uh, lyric about one of your guys' past jobs that I need to interrogate you about. Will be exciting. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We uh, love you, club members. We this is a club exclusive. Uh, we're putting it on the uh, uh, Twit Plus feed. See you pay, uh, and we irritate you for two hours. Two hours. You paid seven dollars a month for us to irritate you for these two hours. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yes, I'm sorry you. that we have to take these things in, in into private, but uh, it is. You know, it's an advantage for the club members, and uh, mm -hmm. and I think it protects us against takedowns, which we also like. We will see you tomorrow. Stay tuned if you're watching live, MacBreak Weekly and Security Now. Still to come on most of these same Twit stations. Bye, Jeff Jarvis, Paris bye. Martineau. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye. As they say. Hey, buddy, are you a geek? Are you a tech enthusiast? Then I would love to invite you to join a tech community like no other. You can gain exclusive access to our incomparable quality tech content with Club Twit. As a member, you'll enjoy all Twit TV shows ad-free, plus access private video feeds for insider shows like iOS Today, Home Theater Geeks, and so much more. Dive into the members-only Twit Plus bonus feed for behind-the-scenes content, club discussions, and special events. But here's the best perk. Join our incredible Discord community to watch live show productions, chat with hosts, and participate in exclusive members-only activities. It's your backstage pass to the world of Twit. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or a lifelong learner, Club Twit elevates your knowledge while entertaining your interests. Get two weeks free when you sign up now and unlock unparalleled access at twit.tv slash club twit. That's twit.tv slash club twit and from the bottom of my heart thank you and welcome to the club